In this problem, we're given a result, and we're asked to, sh to show or to find a sum of this from r is 1 to 100. Now, the first step is to compare this to the given result. So there's a 1 there rather than a 3. So step 1 could be to do this. If I put this as 3 over 5 plus 3r, 2 plus 3r, and then put a third outside, then a third of 3 is 1. So these are the same. I can then replace the part in the summation by the given result. So 3 over 5 plus 3r, 2 plus 3r, must equal this. 1 over 2 plus 3r, minus 1 over 5 plus 3r. So we now have an r rather than an x. Now this might look quite complicated, but if we start to put some numbers in, then something clever happens. So we've got this big third as a factor. Now if r equals 1, we have a 1 over 2 plus 3, which is a 1 over 5. Take away a 1 over 5 plus 3, which is 1 over 8. So that there is when r equals 1. Now the summation then says is to work it out next when r is 2. So when r is 2, 2 plus 3 times 2 is 8. So we get a 1 over 8, take away. 1 over 5 plus 3 times 2 is 6, 5 plus 6 is 11. So 1 over 11. If I then do the next one, when r is 3, you will start to spot the pattern. When r is 3, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11, take away 1 over 3 times 3 is 9, plus 5 is 14. And if I kept on going, the final term would be when r is 100, so 3 times 100 is 302, minus 1 over 305. So that's when r is 100. So what we observe is, is that all these inner terms cancel off. And they keep on going. So the last and then the first, the last and the first, they all go. So all we're left with, therefore, in the end, is one third. Now the one fifth remains there. Take away a one over 305. And if I put this into my calculator to save some time, I have a one over 3, open bracket, 1 over 5, take away 1 over 305. Close the bracket, press enter, and the answer is 4 over 61. So 4 over 61 is the exact answer to this given summation. Now we can generalise this, because if we look at this expression here, then it's the same as this, but rather than r is 100, we have an r equals to n at the end. So there'll be a 1 third, there'll be 1 over 5, that was the very first one we worked out, but take away, rather than 1 over 305, the very, very last term will be 1 over 5 plus 3n. So this would be a general expression for the sum from r equals 1 up to n. Now as n gets larger and larger and larger, so as n tends to infinity, then 1 over infinity tends towards 0. So therefore this will approach a limit. And the limit will be 1 third, 1 over 5, take 0 because that tends to 0, which is just 1 over 15. So 1 over 15 is the sum as n tends to infinity of this expression.